1917, when the Imperial German intelligence services arranged for Lenin to go from Switzerland to Russia to weaken the Russian war effort in the First World War, they didn't intend uh, for 20 years later, 20 million Russians to pour into Eastern Germany and rape something along the lines of 2 million German women and kill God only knows how many other people. And to see their country split in two and a pile of rubble and 6 million Jews dead and God only knows how many other people dead. They didn't intend that, but that's what they got. Um, in the 1930s, when large sections of the European and North American middle classes backed Hitler, they didn't intend for six million Jews to be gassed or a Second World War to break out that would see uh, the Red Army in Berlin, but that's what they got. <laughs> um, in the uh, Vietnam period, the U.S. government did not intend uh, for uh, their country to be split asunder by divisions caused by the war, and they didn't intend for the Khmer Rouge to take over Cambodia and kill two out of seven million Cambodians. Uh, two million out of seven million Cambodians, but that's what they got. Um, <clears throat> when the United States uh, got involved in the Afghan war, i.e., backing the Mujahideen. They didn't intend for the Mujahideen to eventually bring the two towers down, but that's what they got. <laughs> when um, the uh, Western powers decided to boot out Saddam Hussein and uh, fatally weaken the Syrian regime, they didn't intend to spawn ISIS, but that's what they got. Sense a pattern here? Are you sure you can control events once war breaks out? I think the historical record says otherwise. 